Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, ooh, I just have a lot of energy, so I'm, it's not gonna be funny, so I know you guys don't like funny videos, so if you don't wanna watch this, that's fine, but I think there's something I just need to talk about because no one else is talking about it, and I've gotten so many questions about something that's been going on, and um, the reality is, like, I'm just here to give it to you raw and real. Like, I'm not here to, like, hide shit from you. I'm not here to, like, pretend that I'm something that I'm not. So let's just go ahead and get started. <sighs> you ready? One, two, three. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin, and uh, this is a little bit serious video today. Um, I know some of you guys like watching my funny videos, and that's awesome, but I kind of want you to listen to this really quick. So before you click out and exit, or don't even click on it to begin with, just, just listen to what I have to say, okay? So, let's start off first about what this channel is, okay? I wanted to create something that would create that would strengthen our community, okay? I'm Mexican American. I've we've, I've talked about this so many times. This is what my channel is about. Um, this is the reason why I make YouTube videos, okay? I want to create a stronger connection within our own community, okay? And I'm not a beauty blogger. I'm not a comedian. I'm not an actor. I'm not a I'm not a songwriter. I'm not a dancer. I'm not any of those things. I'm not an artist, or at least I don't claim to be one. Um, I'm just. I consider myself just to be a normal person, just like everybody else. I have feelings. I have thoughts. I have emotions. I like to eat Mexican food. Um, I'm you know I'm just a normal guy. You know what I mean. But you know I do have this platform, and whether or not if I have one person follow like watching me or a million people following it's still like content that I'm like putting out there for you guys and what I'm about to say is going to be really shocking and a lot of you're going to be like what the fuck just, just before you jump to conclusions just listen to what I have to say and then you can go ahead and just whatever say whatever you want okay so here it is I'm kind of happy that Donald Trump is our president of the United States of America now you guys are going to be like what the fuck oh my god and you guys are gonna get pissed off but just wait just listen to what i have to say okay i'm not happy because i support him i'm not happy because um i think this is what our country needs i'm not happy for any of those reasons i'm not happy that white supremacists like white supremacists still exist today i'm not happy about what's going on with daca i'm not happy about the stigma that's being perpetuated between almost every type of minority across the board in the United States of America. I'm not happy because of that. The only reason why I'm kind of grateful that Trump is our president is because we are seeing something so beautiful happen. Regardless of all the bad shit that's been going on, dude, I completely understand, dude. I would like to represent us as a community, so you don't even have to like say, I already know what we're, what's going on, okay? I'm kind of happy to see that despite this like chaos, despite all this bad shit that's going on, despite everything that you could possibly think is going wrong in our like country today, the only one thing that's coming out of this is the fact that Latinos, Latinx, Chicanos, whatever you want to identify as, we're actually coming together for once. And I think for me, that's the most beautiful thing that's happened in the past year span okay so don't twist my words don't don't add any words that i'm not saying out of my mouth okay i can speak for myself i don't need you to speak for me i'm telling you what i'm saying and i don't need you to interpret it any other way what i'm telling you is i'm happy to see the latino community coming together okay the reason why white people can conquer through colonization is because they're united Okay, this whole everything that's going on with white supremacists, with racism, we, our country was built on racism. That's something that you need to understand. They have been in power because they've been unified. And that's our problem, dude. And this goes back to every little problem that we have. I'm going to talk about Mexicans. I would love to sit here and talk about a Puerto Rican perspective or Venezuelan perspective or, you know, a, a Nicaraguense perspective, but I can't because I'm not any of those things. I'm Mexicano. I'm Mexican. I'm, Ch I'm, I'm Chicano. Like, this is my perspective and this is how I view things, okay? We are so divided within our own community. And that's the reason why we don't we don't advance. I get so sad to see people supporting Donald Trump who are Mexican. Why? Because it's just like, 
at the end of the day, dude, we all come from the same, like, history. All come from the same history. I don't care if your parents are from Oaxaca or if your parents are from Aguascalientes or Durango. It doesn't matter. We all come from the same geographic location. And for you to betray your own kind is the saddest thing ever. Like, it's just completely disappointing. I am privileged. Like, let me, let me put that out there. I'm privileged. I've lived a very privileged life. I may have not I may have not grown up being in a high social economic status, but I can't say that I, I grew up in a very low social economic status as well. I am thankful that my grandmother came here legally to the United States to work and to send money to Mexico. So my parents were both immigrants as well. Like my parents lived such shitty lives just so I could live a better life here. So I'm privileged. My parents have done so much for us, for my family, that I can't even, I, I don't even know how they've done it, but somehow I'm here. For me to be privileged in all these ways and things, I'm an American board citizen. Um, I have a driver's license. I have a social security number. Um, I have access to 401k. If I needed to get healthcare, I could do that. I'm lucky enough to have been able to receive an education. I could, I applied for FAFSA. I was able to put in my information to the system that gave me free money from the federal government. I am so lucky. I'm so privileged. I'm so blessed. And I'm telling you this because not everyone can say this. You can be just as Mexican as I am, if not more. But for some reason, I'm the lucky one. And that's so fucked up to think that I'm getting to enjoy all these cool things because I got lucky. Because I was literally born on an on an other on on the other side of imaginary like wall or 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 line that doesn't even exist. That, that's just crazy to think. Like it's so hard for me not to get emotional, dude, because like, dude, this this is my people, man. At the end of the day, like I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. I don't care if you are a bad person. I don't care, dude. At the end of the day, you're still a part of my community and I'm gonna love you. Like, I don't care. Like, this is my community and this is the only thing that makes me feel like I'm a part of something. My community is not perfect. Our Mexican culture is not perfect. We have so many things that we need to work on and I'm not saying that we're the best people because no one's the best. That doesn't exist, regardless of what ethnicity or cultural background you come from. Like, it doesn't matter, dude. But to think, but to think that I have people that were in, in my immediate life, when I went to UC Irvine, I had colleagues who were undocumented, who were DACA recipients. And they, like, let me just show, like, show this story. This, this person doesn't even know that I know of her. This person doesn't even probably, she probably doesn't even know who I am, but I knew who she was because I knew she was a DACA recipient. This young lady, I'm not gonna say her name because I, just for privacy reasons, but this young lady was a DACA recipient at UC Irvine. She got accepted into the PhD program at Yale University, to, my camera just died, so I had to like do all this stuff. Anyways, I don't know where I was saying or where I left off, but what I want you to know is that there's something beautiful about this whole situation, okay? And it's like, I know that you may feel like all odds are against us and you may feel that you have people who you thought you would fuck with and they're just like not backing you up from this social like revolution that's like awaiting to happen. But just know, dude, that people out there care. And I, would not feel comfortable with myself knowing that I have somewhat of a platform and I didn't use it for something that I believed in. And I truly believe in this. I'm not I'm not saying this because I want the attention. I'm not saying this because I want to make money off of this. I'm not saying this because of whatever. I'm saying this because I genuinely care about my Latino community, dude. I care about everybody who's proud to be Mexicano or Mexicana or Mexicanx, whatever you decide to like to label yourself. I'm proud of who I am and I just don't feel like it's fair that some of us are just getting the short end of the stick. I don't care. Like if you're over here saying like, oh, like some people are lazy, they don't want to work. I don't want to hear it. I don't fucking want to hear it. That's such a, that's such a biased perspective and it's, it's disgusting and it's dirty and I don't have any space for intolerance like that. I don't have any space in my channel or my community for bigotry, dude. If you have some dumbass shit to say, like, get out, dude. I'm going to block you. I don't, I, I have no remorse of blocking people, dude. This is my channel. This is my feed. And I have the power. I get to decide. You're in my dimension right now. 
If I say this, this is what I feel, then I'm gonna say it. If I don't wanna hear any negative comments. This is, this is supposed to enlighten us and it's supposed to strengthen us and give us the power and the strength that we need to move forward as a community. So I hope this was inspiring for you. And I'm sorry that I, I did take a little bit long to make this video. I was I was kind of like scared to make this video because I was like, I don't know the reaction that I would get. But at the end of the day, I just reminded myself, dude, I started with nothing. So when I end, I will have nothing. So there's no point of me worrying about who's gonna support me and who's not. If you don't wanna fuck with me anymore because I fucking support Latinos and I support Mexicans, then don't fuck with me, dude. If you don't wanna fuck with me because you feel like I'm stupid because I believe in my community and I'm proud of my community and I will stand and advocate for my community because we have one of the most precious minds that anyone could have ever wished they would, that, that they could have and if you don't want to fuck with me because of that reason then don't fuck with me dude I'm fucking chilling I'm right here chilling with no fucking worries and no remorse no regrets so I know you guys don't like these types of videos but I just I had, I had, I had, I had to make this video and I hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from. I love you all so much. I do try to support in every possible way I can. I want to start to going, I want to start going to more rallies. I want to start getting more involved. I know politics is just a whole fucking can of worms that we don't want to open, but unfortunately, this is reality for some people. It's so easy for people to shut off, you know, their TVs and not listen and pay attention to the news. But at the end of the day, dude, there's some child out there that's suffering. There's some mother who's being ripped away from her children because of these policies and these laws. So just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean that it's not real. It's real. This is reality. And we need a fucking wake up call. And this is the time is now, dude. Life is getting fucking scary. And But if we're going to sit here and worry about you looking hot or you making money, dude, that's on you, man. Because at the end of the day, there's money has no value without people. And literally the, our humanity is at stake right now. So just remember that. Okay? Thank you guys for supporting. I love you guys so much. You guys are my fucking godfathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. And...